Operations commandos capturing one of the FBI's most wanted terror suspects. The video was first seen today on the Washington Post website. Anas al-Libi was grabbed in Tripoli, Libya last fall. Here's David Martin. Al Libby's car stopped in front of his house shortly before dawn last October. A white van pulled up next to him and Delta commandos leapt out. Freeze the video and you can clearly see one of them standing in front of the car, his pistol trained on the front seat. Another van pulled into blocking position as a second commando went for the driver's side door. The commandos wrestled Al Libby out of his car and into the van and sped away. The next day, Al Libby's family described the attack, which was presumably recorded by this security camera. A few dings and one broken window were the only evidence of the violent confrontation. By then, Al Libby was being interrogated aboard a U.S. Navy ship in the Mediterranean. He is believed to have once been close to Osama bin Laden and is accused of playing a role in the 1998 bombings of two American embassies in Africa, which left more than 200 dead. From the ship, he was taken to New York, where 15 years after, he is awaiting trial for the embassy bombings. He has pleaded innocent to the charges against him. American commandos have been carrying out killer capture raids virtually every night in Afghanistan and before that in Iraq but it is extremely rare to actually see them in action, especially in a country like Libya, where the U.S. is not at war. David, uh, the Associated Press broke a story today about the White House considering a drone strike against an American citizen overseas. You've been looking into that. What can you tell us? Well, officials confirm that, indeed, the Obama administration is trying to decide 